Hey guys, it's me, Panto6, and I have something crazy uh, that just happened to me. Just happened, and I, I will let you guys know all about it. Um, but just a while ago, I got called by a friend of mine who knows Donald Trump. I don't know if you guys heard of him, maybe. He's a presidential candidate uh, for the Republican Party or Independent. I don't know what he is, but he granted me an interview. Uh, to talk to him about his uh, current um, election stuff and what he's planning to do when he um, you know, starts his office. But I got him via right now on Skype. And we'll go ahead and start the interview in just a moment. So let me go ahead and introduce you, Mr. Trump. Go ahead and say hello to everybody. And uh, we'll get started with the interview. Congratulations, you're speaking to Donald Trump. <laughs> All right, Mr. Trump, I'm glad that you're here. Um, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. Um, the first thing, why did you decide to go ahead and run for president of the United States? I know um, a lot of people seeing this as a uh, an act of egotistic self-promotion, they would say. And I, I do apologize. Whenever I first heard the news, I was I didn't really quite like it, but you have me intrigued, sir. Uh, go ahead. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I tell you that. That's nice and all, Mr. Trump, but why? Why you? Why now? What makes you so special um, to actually deserve this? You'll have the great pleasure of voting for the man that will easily go down as the greatest president in the history of the United States. Me, Donald John Trump. Sir, I, that really doesn't give me any information of, on why. You just basically just said, I'll be the greatest president there ever will be. But why will you be the greatest? I just need to know that. That's the only thing I'm asking here, sir. Part of the beauty of me is that I'm very rich. Doesn't that make you sound like a bad choice? I mean, really, uh, you're basically saying you can do the job because you're ex extremely rich. Um, I, I don't think that's a, a good thing. I mean, that's good you got money and all, but yeah. But um, anyways, um, a long time ago, you just had problems with uh, Rosie O'Donnell. How is that going right now? I know you've tweeted about it and you had some stuff during the uh, the the Republican debates, and I just like to know what, what, what's your, what's your thoughts on Rosie O'Donnell at this point? Have you guys made up or what? what? Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her; she's a slob. She talks like a, a like a truck driver. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person both inside and out. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. That's not very nice, Mr. Trump. That's like going straight for the throat. I don't know if uh, I would say that to her personally, but, uh, you know, that's that's you. That's <laughs> I do apologize. I just, you know, it's not very nice. But, you know, you're Donald Trump. I, I, I cannot, I can't, you know, I can't say anything. But... <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's true. But actually, I am. I think I am a nice person. I'm actually a nice person. So I know you talk a lot about China, but what do you think about China as a whole? Do you, do you like it? I mean, I, mean, I know they kind of, they're, they're starting to be a force to be reckoned with in terms of a global economy. So, I mean, what's your, what's your, what do you think about China? I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million dollars to somebody from China. Well, congratulations on the apartment sale. I mean, that's great. Somebody in China can afford $15 million home. Get more power to them. But what else do you think about them? I mean, honestly. China. 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 I've been saying China. 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 Again. That didn't really help me out any, um, but yeah, whatever. Um, what is your goals of defeating ISIS? That's 
really, really scary right now with all the, um, you know, terrorist attacks and recently almost 300 some people just almost got killed all half of them anyways. Um, and it's really bad. So, I mean, what is your deal? What are you going to do uh, to stop ISIS? I mean, what makes you think you can do this? I mean, let me know. Let me know. I, the American people need to know this. Nobody would be tougher on ISIS than Donald Trump. Okay, Ed. Okay, you're Donald Trump. Just your name alone. It's going to win the election, so I, I don't know. If you think your name is going to kill off ISIS, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But um, I heard recently that you um, started a uh, a band of some, some... I heard you was doing rap music. Um, and I have right now some... Uh, some music and I'd like to see if you could rap to it and we'll go ahead and end the interview right after this song that way you know you can do what you're a busy man and you can do what you have to do but uh, let's go ahead and listen to your music Mr. Trump and uh, you have a wonderful day this is so awesome that you uh, let me uh, interview uh, <laughs> even though it, some things didn't make sense but you know maybe they'll come to me eventually uh, but again Everybody, Donald Trump, and this is his uh, new song. It's going to be played for his uh, uh, campaign. So check it out. And Donald Trump, you have a wonderful day. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bong, bong, bing, 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 bong, bong, bing, 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 bong, bong, bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bong, bong. Bing 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 b